Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and I am so happy to say hi again and to see you back in the channel. So as you can see, I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day. I have been asked to make this video a couple of times, so here it is. I got a comment on my English channel by Suhani Sharma. I want to thank you for always watching my videos and leaving me nice comments. She says, hey Rosie, I would love to see food related videos because I don't get what to cook sometimes. I tried the tofu scramble. It turned out awesome. Thank you so much for trying that recipe. It's one of my favorites. I actually make it a few times a week. And I got a similar comment on my Spanish channel by Melly Ramirez. Hi Lynn, I am so glad that you are back. I would like to see videos of a day in the life or what I eat in a day. Greetings and blessings. Thank you so much. So without talking anymore, let's begin. <laughs> so a couple of times a week to start my morning, I have water with lime juice. So my mom has the tendency to buy a lot of limes. She gets 15 for a dollar. So that's when they are on sale. And this past week she bought $3. So you can imagine how many limes she brought home. And what she likes to do, she likes to fill bottles with the lime juice. So when we need it for any food or to drink, it's ready in the bottle. So that's what she likes to give me, a bottle, a filled bottle with lime juice. And so what I do, I put a little bit of lime juice I would say like about a tablespoon and then I fill the rest with water. Personally, I like my water normal temperature. I'm not a fan of like cold water, but you can. But if you're trying to lose weight, the best way is to warm your water, to actually heat it up and drink this warm or hot. So the reason why I drink this is because, well, it's like an interior detox. And if I see I'm breaking out, this is so good for your skin. It clears it up. I see the results. I feel like brighter. I feel more energized. And I feel like I have better digestion and it's just better. Mm. And of course, without adding sugar. This is not a lemonade. <laughs> This is so good, it's so delicious. So that's how I start my morning. It's like a way to energize your body, to wake it up and feel energized for the day. So for breakfast, this is something that we have a couple of times a week and it's the tofu scramble. And the reason I make it is because it's so easy, it's super delicious, quick to make and especially because little Lynn, this is her favorite dish. So I make it mainly for her. <laughs> So in case you didn't know, tofu comes in different textures. So some are soft, some are firm, like a little bit harder. To make the tofu scramble, I get the one that is firm and then I just crumble that up and then I start adding pink salt, onion powder, garlic powder. And the special ingredient is the turmeric that will give it that yellowish color, like if it's scrambled eggs and nutritional yeast. And I add that because it has vitamin B12 it gives it kind of like a cheesy flavor and it has other benefits too. So I mixed it up and then I put it on the stove between medium and high heat. And this cooks in like five minutes. So as you can see, it's super quick, easy, simple. And then little Lynn likes it plain, just like that. Um, mine, sometimes I will mix it up with veggies. And so I cook vegetables a couple of times a week. So I always have it ready for my meals. When I cook vegetables, I add um, a little bit of lime juice. I put a little bit of olive oil, all seasoning, like the mixed seasoning or just plain salt. It's so simple, but such a delicious and nutritional breakfast. Also for breakfast, I make myself a smoothie. Out of everything that I make in the day, making smoothies is my favorite part. And they always come out delicious. I always make them so delicious. And so on this day, what I added was banana, strawberries, a bit of protein powder, and almond vanilla milk. And so I use my magic bullet because it's so easy to make it there. All you do is put all the ingredients and it will mix it up for you. The smoothie plus the breakfast, it's so fulfilling. Like I will feel full like 
even up to lunch or even further than that because it's such a delicious breakfast but it fills you up like in a healthy way <laughs> So every day is different for us. Um, on this particular day, we didn't have lunch, but we did eat snacks. So for snacks, whatever I have available at that time. So on this day, I had banana, I had peach, or sometimes I'll go for like veggies, like crunchy vegetables. I love those green pea snacks that are a little bit of salty and they are crunchy like chips. Or I'll even have like toasted corn and it's so delicious instead of grabbing chips then you eat healthy you're eating vegetables in a healthy way and I don't want to give the impression that I never eat chips because that is not the case but for the most part we will have the healthy choices okay for dinner I always make sure we have either pasta or rice some type of greens to combine it with other things on this day, I made two cups of rice and I doubled that with the amount of water. So four cups of water and then I add olive oil. And you also want to rinse your rice until it comes out clear. The color is clear and not like a whitish. And extra tip, you can even save this water to pour on your hair or you can even use this water for your plants in the garden or even in your face. To have beautiful skin and then i add olive oil so that the rice doesn't stick and then i add pink salt the himalayan salt to add some flavor and then garlic powder onion powder and if you have it fresh even better but the reason why i add it in powder form is because little lynn doesn't like those ingredients like if she sees it in the rice then she doesn't feel like eating the rice so this is a good way to incorporate those flavors in a way that she will eat it but if it was just for me then of course i would add the garlic and the onion like fresh <laughs> and then a little bit of ginger powder then you just mix the ingredients leave it there i use a rice cooker and i cover it with a small towel because if not it's going to get my kitchen dirty it will splatter the water starts splattering when it starts boiling as that is cooking i also made some lentils this time i had the yellow lentils my favorite ones, I would say, are the brown regular lentils. On this date, I made one cup of lentils and the only thing that I add is salt. And I add between two to three cups of water and that cooks like in an hour. So yes, that takes a little longer to cook. With that, I added on the side a little bit of veggies. Like I said, I like cooking ahead of time so I don't have to cook every single day. If you can, if you have this option, then make sure that you put on the side like fruit skins or any seeds so you can use it as compost in your backyard, your garden. There you go guys, this is what I eat in a day. I feel like the recipes that I share today are so basic, but if I keep sharing more, if you're interested, let me know and I can share even more things that I like to make as well. And I put this on my head today because my hair was a mess. It looked dirty, it looked oily, and I didn't want you guys to see me like that. So I think it's a nice way to hide that, to look nice. 
but in a cute way <laughs> and the weather in Miami has been in the 70s which is awesome it's been a little bit cloudy and really windy as always you can tell me hi in the comment section or let me know what other videos you would like to see you can follow me on all social media accounts with the same name Lynn Sire if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one kisses bye